on this day in Outlander history, season 2, episode 1 aired for the first time. It's time to delve into a new transforming Outlander series to look at a major change between book and show that worked. One thing that book fans noticed immediately was the change between the beginning of Dragonfly in Amber and the opening of Outlander season 2, episode 1. Instead of taking place in 1968, we jumped to 1948 and Claire going through the stones. As the episode aired for the first time on this day in history, I'm starting a new Transforming Outlander weekly series to look at how the book was adapted for the show. Sometimes, the adaptations don't work as well as the showrunners would have hoped. Other times, they work beautifully. In my opinion, this change worked. I loved getting a chance to see Claire return to her own time and try to form the bond with Frank again. We got to see how Frank reacted to seeing Claire back after being missing for three years. Sure, it was a little confusing. Those watching on Netflix now sometimes wonder whether they've skipped an episode. Those watching at the time wondered if they'd missed a week. However, those who stuck with it soon realized that it was a flash forward, showing that Claire would eventually head back through the stones, pregnant with Jamie's child. I'll also admit that even if the show stuck with placing the opening in 1968, there would have been some confusion. I actually think it worked better having it start with Claire going through the stones because a sudden scene in 1968 could have been jarring for the non-book fans at first. This transformation also worked thanks to the way Outlander Season 1 was written. There were constant mentions of Frank, and we had the excellent episode both sides now. I adored getting to see what Frank was doing in the future which helped to make me feel more for him when he returned to Scotland in 1948 after Claire mysteriously reappeared. While not everyone may agree with his actions, I understood them. He wanted to distance himself from the knowledge that there was another man. He needed to feel like Claire wanted to be with him, even if that wasn't the case. This was a man who had agreed to raise another man's baby and he needed to get rid of the reminders of that other man in any way that he could. Outlander Season 2 Episode 1 gave us sprinkles of information for the upcoming Battle of Culloden. These bits and pieces were important, although sometimes I wish that this episode was kept for closer to the end of the season, to show what was to come as Claire and Jamie tried to change the past. What did you think of the way the showrunners adapted the novel? What was your favorite part of this transformation? Share your thoughts in the comments below.